It's DK and I'm back. And guess what? Today was absolutely whack. Why was it whack? We made zero dollars today, a big zero. I'm trying to be a hero, but I couldn't. It was critical. We put in for some roadie orders. We didn't get them. We put some bids in from the carrier company. We didn't get them. It just is what it is today. Some days you're gonna, it's gonna be like this. It comes with the territory. Now, I will say this. If you decide to do things my way, the way I'm doing it is I'm using gig apps as well as a one carrier company. Then you're gonna have some days like this. It just is what it is. There's no orders. It's a day after Christmas. Then, you know, uh, New Year's gonna come. Well, New Year's Eve is gonna come and then New Year's Day is gonna come. So everything is gonna be slow for probably, I would say the next two weeks. Comment below and let me know how it's going in your area. I do have some things I wanna address and tell you guys that it's gonna be some changes we're making to everything that we're doing. We are trying to add like two or three more carrier companies. I have been in contact with them. I talked to them. Um, they, we got to switch the insurance and all that stuff and do that thing. And then we maybe be good to go with those carrier companies. I'm not telling you guys the carrier companies. You got to do your own research. Now, I do have a comment that I want to address that I've been, you know, this, this person has commented this like maybe two or three times that I've seen personally. And my business partner is going to read it. I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it. Okay. So your comment is from at BSG and they said your video is, you know, way off than what is actual than what it is in reality. Um, they don't want you to give false hope to a lot of people because they buy a cargo van because of false hope and then they don't get loads or they get loads here and there and that's not reality. And then it says you seem like you're a paid promoter. <laughs> Well, the reason why I'm just I'm just gonna say this right. We're gonna give a disclaimer. The reason why she had to say it like that was because the words are I think they're from maybe from another country or some where their English is kind of broken. So we had to, she kind of had to sum it up that way. So it is what it is. No 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 slack to them or anything. It just is what it is. Now I want to say this. I think that first off that you probably are new to the channel and you haven't been watching this whole time because if you have been watching it, you would know that I do make videos like this where I only made $30 or you know $50 or a little bit of money in that one day. So I'm not giving anyone any false hope. I'm being very transparent with you guys and you low key, I, I just want to say this. You make us, don't make assumptions about things without doing your research. Like Jay main say, do your homework. You got to do your homework, which leads me into you not doing your homework. For those of you who out there who went and bought a cargo van or a Sprinter van and got this uh, this vehicle to do this gig work and as well as get, use a carrier company and you failed, that is no one's fault but yourself. Everything needs to be blamed on you. You can't blame me, you can't blame Big CJ, you can't blame the gig geezer and whoever else, Pat Entertain, you can't, blame, you can't blame nobody. This is all your fault. And you need to be a man or a woman about whatever you did. It is what it is. You can't blame somebody else for you not succeeding. The reason why you're probably not succeeding is because you didn't do your homework. Like I just said, like J-Main say, you didn't do your homework on this business. You just went off you something that you saw on YouTube and then you just start to do whatever you was doing, which is probably wrong. And not to mention, I have gave you guys a lot of, lot of information. So maybe if you watch more videos, you will find out a way that you can do, go out there and get busy. I have a video with 30 different apps. Who else done it? I have a video with 30 apps and if you don't, I mean, some of them apps have to be, have to work in your area. Some of them do. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but some of them do. You haven't done your research. Now, as far as me being a paid promoter for these apps, that is absolutely incorrect. I want to tell you guys this. I have put links in the description for different apps. And if you sign up, sometimes you get a referral, but that's it. Ain't nobody ever called me and said, yeah, we want you to promote our app and we're going to pay this so-and-so and so-and-so. Absolutely not. I've never done it before. So I don't know where you're getting that idea from. I'm not getting paid to promote anything. You do, if you click the referral code, I will be compensated for that, but I'll tell you guys that in the videos. Now, honestly, some people are gonna win and some people are not. It just comes with the territory. So it's gonna be, it's the yin and yang to everything. It's gonna be a positive and negative to everything. You cannot sit here and blame anyone else for your failures. It just, it just, it's, 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 it's kind of sad because you're not taking accountability for the things that you did. Anything that happened in your life is your fault. I don't care what you say. You can say, oh, but it's just, all. it's like you, it's like, this was kind of like, it's like you in the classroom, like you in school, right? And you fail a grade or you fail a, a subject and you blame it on the teacher. It's not the teacher fault. You didn't do your homework. You didn't do your research. The, the teacher gave you the information. You were supposed to study for the test. You didn't study for it. You just went out there, took the test and you failed. Now you want to blame the teacher. That's not how life works. Take accountability for the things you are doing. Um, you're going to need to, in order for you to succeed, you're going to do, have to do a lot of research. You're going to have to be dedicated. 
You can't be lazy. It's not going to work if you're lazy. If you're lazy, you don't want to get up in the morning. You have to have discipline. You have to have drive. And I told you guys this multiple times before. You need to have money saved up before you get in this business. Because if you don't, you're going to make bad choices. It's not going to work well for you. You're going to be doing, you know, because you got to make money. Because you ain't got no money saved up. So you got to hurry up and try to do this order. This terrible order. You can fit this in per mile. And you're actually losing money instead of making money. So... I advise you or whoever else that may say this about the YouTubers or the, or the influence or whatever you may call them, stop blaming everybody else for your problem. This is your fault. It's not nobody else's fault. You didn't do what you were supposed to do. Now you are going through a terrible time and that ain't nobody else's fault but your own. So it is what it is. I understand why some people may think that. I'm not giving nobody, I ain't selling no hope. I never told no hope to nobody. I never said this, I never said anything that was incorrect to anybody. I'm just telling you guys what I do and that's it, that's all. I need you guys to comment below and let me know what you think about this comment. Have I, ha, ha, matter of fact, I want y'all to say this. How many people have I helped succeed? How many, how many of y'all have gotten information gems and made money off the information that I've given you? Comment below and let me know. Comment below and put a money bag in the comment section if you actually made money from some things I've told you before. I'm not selling anyone false hope. I'm probably one of the most transparent gig tubers out there, honestly. If you disagree, comment below and let me know. Say, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. But that's what I feel about the situation. I understand, you know, everybody can think how they want to think. But again, this is not just about cargo van business. It's not just about the gig apps. This is about life in general. Be responsible for your own actions. That was one of the things that we used to say in uh, grade school. Or after we did the Pleasure, uh, Pleasure of Allegiance, we had to say, um, what was it? A few moments later. This is what it was. I am somebody who believe in myself. I'm responsible for my own actions and no one else. I will solve problems peacefully. Education is my number one priority. I'm a Neil shining star and I will go far. And there's something else about that. But that's what it is. I learned this in grade school. They told us that it's a grade school. You are responsible for your own actions and no one else. So be responsible. Do your research. If you don't do no research, do not start. If you don't got enough money saved up, do not start. If you don't have dedication, do not start. If you don't have drive, do not start. Just don't do it. It's not for everybody. Everything ain't for everybody. So, I appreciate the uh, the comment, but hey, look in the mirror. You gotta blame yourself. You cannot blame anybody else for anything that happens with you. It's all on you. That's all I wanna say. It's time for us to get the clapping. Hey, baby, hey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I could not go out there and get busy. It just is what it is, baby. It comes to territory. But make sure you guys lock in tomorrow. It's going back down. We ain't playing around. The 2023 is still big bag season. We'll keep on giving me a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it, DDK. And I'm on my way.